In this tutorial of iDraw for the iPad, I'm going to show you how to create a heart using the pen tool. I am using a document that I created earlier which has a grid on it as well as 45 degree marks all the way around. These will greatly help me when I'm creating my heart. I'm going to start out by going over to my layers and creating a blank layer. I'm going to name this blank layer heart. Once I have this layer, I'm going to grab my pen tool. When you are working with the pen tool, you're going to draw a series of points which are called nodes. These nodes, when you pull on them, will create curves. I'm going to start out by drawing along the vertical axis that is on my screen. I'm going to start out about halfway through my top line, and I'm going to go ahead and draw an anchor point. I am now going to draw another point at around 45 degrees and I'm going to pull a little bit. This will create a curve. I'm going to go down a little bit more and I'm going to go towards the bottom of my document and I'm going to find the lower 45 degree mark and I'm going to create another point there and I'm going to pull. Finally, I'm going to create another point along my vertical axis and this will represent the point of my heart. I now have half of a heart. I'm going to adjust all of these points by using my edit tool. I'm also going to change the, sh the color of my shape so that it's more visible to you. I'm going to go ahead and click red and that changed the interior. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my second arrow which is for editing all my nodes I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to take this node in the center and lower it a little bit. On my grid, each one of these squares represents half an inch. I'm going to go ahead and lower my point just a little bit. I'm going to pinch outward. I'm going to lower my point just a little bit more because I want my heart to be to have a deep uh, point. This right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab that node and pull it a little bit. Now you can adjust your heart however you want. Uh, this is just my preference. Now I am now going to go to that other point that's at the 45 degree mark. I tap it and I'm going to go ahead and pull on it a little bit so that my heart becomes a little bit pointier towards the bottom. Go ahead and analyze your shape and make sure that your nodes reach all the way down and that there is no white space between that center line and your half of your heart. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. I'm going to grab my first arrow tool and I'm going to select my half of this heart. I'm going to click and hold with my finger on that heart until this menu shows up. Go ahead and click on copy click and hold somewhere else and in the empty space and click paste this will make a copy of my heart. Now that I have this copy, I'm going to flip it horizontally on its axis. Go over to your Arrange menu, which is uh, the third one with the two little squares. And actually, um, it is your ruler that you want. Go ahead and click on the Ruler menu, and you need to find um, these two triangles that point to the left and to the right that will flip your document horizontally, your object horizontally. Once you have flipped your object, go ahead and use the arrow to help you line up the two halves of your heart. And I'm trying to line it up as best as I can. Okay. Now, there should be no gaps between the two halves of your heart. If there are any gaps, um, you can simply pull on the nodes to change it. For example, I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my heart and I'm going to grab my arrow tool, the one for editing, the second one. I'm going to click and if I did have a something that I needed to edit, I will simply just pull on that node and edit it. I'm fairly satisfied with my heart. 
But if I wasn't, I could go ahead and click on the different points along the heart and pull them. I'm going to undo because I actually like it. I am now going to take both half of these hearts and combine them into one shape. Go ahead and grab your arrow tool for selecting and drag your finger across both shapes. Once both shapes are selected, we're going to go ahead and combine them by using the combine menu. The combine menu is on the top right with the two little squares. Under the combine menu, you have several choices. Go ahead and go to where it says combine. Your top choice under combine is union. Go ahead and click on union. This will turn your object into a single shape rather than two shapes. If you go over to your layers, you should see that your heart is now a single shape. Now that your heart is a shape, you can change the color of it by selecting it, going over into your fill color. You can add a gradient inside of it. This concludes the tutorial on how to create a heart using iDraw and the pen tool.